Hey blessings everyone, it's Yanni, I'm back. Um, so today's the day, it's still Friday. Um, by the time I post this, you guys would have seen my video on libido that's being affected by fibroids, ovarian cysts, PCOS, endometriosis, everything be, that women, most women, adults, young and middle-aged go through and even older. Um, so right now I'm about to leave. We are heading to Philly and I am going to get a Yoni steam. First time ever getting my Yoni steam and I will be interviewing the lady who does it, the, um, the queen who does it. Okay, so I will keep you guys posted on that. You'll be leaving in a little bit. And um, and I'm excited about the Yoni Steam. I've never had one before. I've heard a lot of people, in fact, since the situation at the ER, a lot of people were hitting me up and like, Yanni, try Yoni Steam, try Yoni Steam, try Yoni Steam. So like I've said before in the previous video about libido, Yoni Steams are nothing new. They call it Yoni Steams now. Growing up, it was something done. It was very common in Trinidad. Again, everything is plagiarized or taken from Africa, right? So women sitting on hot water mixed with herbs is nothing new. The people who did it back then mostly were pregnant women um, or women, I shouldn't say pregnant, that um, just had birth, right? So some old midwife lady will have you sit on a, in Trinidad, we call it a putty or if you're English, you say a putty, right? And you, they mix all kinds of, we call it bush, you all call it herbs, and each one serves the purpose so you can get all that stuff. The woman could get all that afterbirth, all that extra mucus, extra membrane would come out. So I came to America and now everybody, Yoni Steam, Yoni Steam. So I'm like, oh, we do that in Trinidad. That's like nothing new. Okay. But this one that I'm going to do is to help, the young lady said it's going to help shrink the already four small fibroids I have. It's only four of them. They're small, but what I think is the location of them that's causing the big belly and the pain that I'm still getting every now and then. Okay, I will let you guys know how that goes and um, leave your comments, leave your questions, and this will be continuous videos I'll be posting to help anyone dealing with this, no matter what country you're from. Thanks for the comments. Keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming because it's really inspiring me and giving me ideas for future topics concerning this. I have no problem being the voice. Um, I know a lot of women, they're embarrassed. You know, I know some that that low sex drive thing struck a me for a lot of women like, yeah, that's me. You guys are saying that to yourself. So I don't get embarrassed. I'll talk about it. Okay, so if you have a question, and once I have time, I'll do a video on it. Okay, we're taking a break from doing locks. Many of you know what we're doing right now. My clients, you guys know what that is happening in Jimmy and I life right now. And in the meantime, instead of posting lock videos that I already have in my phone, I'm feeling more inclined to post these type of videos. Because how much I will talk about here, right? Okay, stay tuned for my experience with my first time ever having a Yoni steam. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Blessings everyone, this is Yanni and I am at Springfield Mall, right? Yeah. Yes, good. <laughs> I am at Springfield Mall with Falana at Carite Naturals. Carite Naturals. Yes. This is in, are we in Philly still? We're in Delaware County. Oh, Delaware County. Delaware okay. County. So. Yeah. This right outside of Philadelphia. Right outside of Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah. So this is for the people living in the PA area, Delaware area, anywhere else close by. Philly. Philly. All right. Y'all could come here. All yeah. right. Um, this place is a utopia for African culture, African wellness. This is the owner, right? And just a little side note, we actually happen to be God sisters. We belong to the same Yoruba temple. Yes. Ile Ifa, shout out to Ile Ifa. Um, and to our godmother, um, Ula Kunle Oladini <laughs> Shango Fem. Yes. All right, that's our godmother who initiated both yes. of us. Alapia mm -hmm. Ia into Yoruba. <laughs> All right, one day you guys will see her on video. Yes. So, Ia, we call her Ia, we're high priest. She connected us a couple of days ago because mm -hmm. you guys saw my post about my fibroids and all of that. And she said, You need to speak to Falana. And I spoke to her love at first. 
hearing on the phone. I like, I need to come and see you. I have never had a, a Yoni steam before and today's my first day. First time having one. This spot she has is amazing. It's in the mall, it's at the bottom level. She has from jewelry, um, she has clothes. Most importantly, she has teas. She has, um, what do you call it? Yeah, crystals. Um, crystals, yeah, I yeah, saw that. Yeah, yes. And I forgot my crystal, so I'll be using some, because I need to hold crystals mm -hmm. for, yeah, right. So nice. Exactly, so nice. good. Yes, yes. <laughs> she has crystals. She's gonna make me a tea concoction. And most importantly, she has teams for the womb, the yoni, mm -hmm. the yoniverse, the, the everything, everything. The, the, the main chakra, the thing that makes us women. Yes right so enough of me talking <laughs> let me introduce you to falana falana what is for those that knows about yoni steams but still never tried it mm -hmm. exactly what is it used for so traditionally yoni semen was something called smoking the vagina okay and in africa and other um caribbean um, areas the women would dig a hole in the ground mm. and they would put plants and herbs in the ground, light them on fire, and they would squat over this fire, and it was called smoking a vagina. Oh my God. So it was done um, maybe after a woman had a baby, mm -hmm. it was done in preparation for marriage, um, different rites of passage, right, different rituals, right. things of that sort. But now it has become something that's trendy. Right. And women are, you know, doing it now for, um, to, let's say, um, cleanse again after they have a baby. Um, to balance their hormones right. for like a heavy menstrual cycle, for painful menstrual cycles. Right. Um, some women steam, <clears throat> excuse me, for fibroids, right. for um, infertility, right. you know, and it really has to do with the herbs because the herbs have volatile oils. So when you put those herbs in a pot of water, that steam penetrates the vaginal wall mm. and can enter the bloodstream and that's how it balances out everything. So it kind of absorbs into the bloodstream, yes. into the system. Yes. But yes. you're different because it has now, you said it's become trendy in a yes. sense and kind of like in a negative way. Yeah. Be, I, yes. I personally, you don't say it, I'm saying it. I'm saying <laughs> yes. it because I, I, I think that's why I wasn't too keen on getting it done. Mm -hmm. You see people mm -hmm. having, and nothing against anyone else. Right. I needed something right. personal. Right. And that's why I gravitated towards you because right. your business is similar to mine. Mm -hmm. It's one on one, right. Right? right? It's not a group of women and we all mm -hmm. sitting on putts, vaginas right. connected. Right. <laughs> Right. That's right. Yoni in. Right. <laughs> I need it. You know? right. so, so it's now right. become something where, like you're having Yoni parties and right. all of that. Right. How do you differ from, and it's okay if that's what you're interested right. in. Right. How do you differ from that? So one of the things that I really um, try to do is separate myself from other people. You know, well, you know I for that. Um, <laughs> Because, again, like you said, it's something that has become very trendy. And, again, I don't knock anybody. Yeah, it's not if that's have, what you want, that's right, what you and want. Right, and that's what you want. But for me, the womb is sacred. And I try to explain that all life comes from a womb. You know, go. the earth is a womb. There you, you go. Know, every like, plant looks like a vagina. Through, every fruit yes, looks like a vagina. Yes, I keep telling people yes, that so, it looks like a vagina. Yes, <laughs> yes. So steaming is, for me, is spiritual. Yes. You know, and a lot of, we, we as women, we hold a lot of, um, energy in yeah. our womb and, and our power. womb is connected to our heart. Yes. So I try to explain to people that when you're esteeming for me is sacred, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not just going and if you want to, if I don't do parties, but if it was someone who maybe like two sisters or someone who, or a group of women, maybe no more than three or four women right. who have all been through something. So there's a spiritual connection. Yes. But since we come together and we sip in mimosas right. and drinking and going, we all no. squatting like, girl, you know, we not, not <laughs> right. It's not that. I'm deep. not serving you any alcohol, <laughs> right. no mimosas. Yours is more like a spiritual know. woman's circle we can do. Right. That's the and exception. in addition to that, I want you to sweat out toxins and impurities. Right. So I will give you herbal tea during okay. your steam. Um, or I will serve you water, right. you know, because my, my thing is um, I'm trying to help you to release toxins, negative energy, Why would you negative want to put vibration. Some Why in? am I going to feed you something that's toxic? So right. for me, I don't personally do that. Um, I also do like a, a, a consultation, okay. you know, to find out what you want to spiritually release from your womb okay. or what you want to spiritually birth from your womb. Okay. Because I try to explain to people we birth more than our children. Yes. You know, yes. um, your sacral chakra areas where you have your sensuality, your sexuality, every... Um, sexual experience that you've had with 
anyone but sits partners. in your womb. Yes, it's And there. then you came from a womb, as I mentioned earlier. So a lot of times we come with that cellular memory and that trauma, that generational trauma, right. where a lot of women have all went through the same thing right. in your in your life, where you might have some of the women all, you know, conceive really early right. and, or yes. they've all pick the same kind of men right. or they just all or may sexual have sexual trauma sexu that's right, there's another right. one so abuse you know, right and yeah. that a lot comes from slavery slavery alone uh, yeah, has of really course. put a lot and of it, us it has stamped you know with dna from it's still in us right right yes right. very true and then this manifests in different ways, ways you know yes. some people get cysts in their breasts some people get cysts in their womb mm, so right. it's just it you know it's the spirit is real energy is real so yeah. we for for me when we are steaming you can do a private steam or you can have a spiritually guided steam that right. one i'm in there with you right and we talk about again what you want to release once you want to uh, manifest it right. could be a business it could be a relationship but you have to release sometimes a negative energy in order for you to be able to birth right and then you have to believe you're worthy of it so it's a whole process that we go through. I love it, Liz. I'm, yeah. So I'm going to have a spiritual steam. Yes. You know that. You know, that. We, we go in and hold hands. We go in and burn. Yes. I go in and quite the steam coming. I go in and cry with a snatch. And, and I go in and burn some stuff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, it's not just getting rid of the fibroids. I have four. You guys, if you're following this, if you guys hear any noise, I'm sorry. We're in a mall. Sorry. There's still people walking around. Right. But um, I have four small fibroids. And... Compared to the time when I had four years ago when I had 14 or 15 big, big ones, <laughs> this one is causing way more pain than the small ones. I'm thinking this is some trauma, st some spiritual trauma mm -hmm. stuck mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And I am 43, going on 44 in February. I'm proud of my age, yes. right? Because I have already outlived both my grandparents mm -hmm. by far. So that's, right. uh, that's why I'm, pr right, that's why I'm yes. proud of my age. Yes. Um, and um, I would like... At some time, some point, to carry um, Jimmy's child. I have no yes. children, mm -hmm. so this would be my first step. Where yes. and where I'm from, we don't believe in. I know somebody like she too old. No. Fight me with that crap. No. My mother had me at 45. You see, I have a client. She 45. had her child at 47. Yes. Uh, Jimmy knows who that person is. Yes. Um, and we're in our country. There's no such thing as high risk. Yes. Once your body's healthy, you can, exactly. and I have African clients. They say the same thing. They're yes. women that, of course, they believe when you're older, your body could sustain that type of birth trauma. Right. 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 So what I'm about to do with you is mm -hmm. not just getting rid of negative energy, but to open it up for that positive. Yes. AKA Jimmy putting his baby gravy inside of me. Right. Right. <laughs> right <laughs> like no shit. Right. To me behind the camera, like my wife. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes. The other thing that I wanted to also um, suggest mm -hmm. um, is that you um, participate in our infra infrared sauna. So we have an infrared sauna blanket, and what that does is it heats up your body at a cellular level, helps you release toxins and heavy metals. Right. And also um, castor oil. Castor oil packs are really good to increase the circulation in the womb area. So yes. that also can help to get things moving. It can help to shrink the fibroids, fibroids and things right. of that sort. So you're so. gonna do a castor oil. I do castor oil packs, but I wanna see, that's the part I'm excited for yeah. also, because I said, let me see if she's doing it different. I have Jamaica, not Jamaican, Haitian castor oil, mm -hmm. and I want to see how you do it, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna continue along the way. Yes. And the good thing with you, after today's team, you are gonna gave me a nice package where yes. I could take it from there. Yes. I'll come and see you like once a month. Yes. But during between, you're going to tell me how often I'm supposed to do this. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so we are about to go get steam. I'm about to go expose my Yoni-verse slash VJJ yes. slash Yoni. Pum pum. <laughs> the Jamaicans like it's the pum pum. <laughs> Yes, Guys, you know how to turn it into a, 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 a smiley way. Um, I'm really excited. Yes. Um, of course, you guys will not come in there to see me yones. <laughs> No, we won't do we, that. No, we will not do that. But you would get it, with her permission, you do get a glimpse of her surroundings. I'm yes. not going to disturb her sacred area until I'm ready. I'm even taking off my shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have my hair out. You guys know. <laughs> and you also receive a, well, you also do a small spiritual bath. Because I want anybody who comes in for a service, you have to cleanse. So there are certain herbs that I put in a pot with certain oils and, a, and just a bowl of water, right. and you cleanse. You just release and cleanse. 
Um, you smudge with sage. So it's a whole ritual that happens. But you know, I can't when prepare. I wear the shango red. Nope, I you, see. You, you see that? I, I came. I was like, which color calling me? I thought it was yes. the moja, which yes. is weird. I thought the moja would have called me, mm -hmm. or, or, or Shun would have called me. Yes. I had the yellow and the blue. Yes. Shango was like, nah, I want to go inside there with you. Yes, yes, I got yes. the shango red going on. We got away. I would be proud. I know. <laughs> you like, that's my girls. <laughs> I'm excited, yeah. guys. Most importantly, come. I mean, you guys are going to see the end of this. Come and if you're in the Philly area, come and show your support. Come and get your steam. Come and buy her products. I have a lot of pictures I'm going to post after this video. All right. Now let's take a little glimpse inside to see how it looks. All right. Okay, so you guys can't see me. I'm behind because I'm not spiritually prepared to step into her sanctuary. That's her at the side. She could wave. <laughs> okay, um, this is just a glimpse of her her sanctuary. Give she can't walk far because she has her mic on and we are connected by um by the cord. It's not wireless. Sorry guys, I'm not <laughs> not high tech like that. Yeah. Give a brief tour on what's about to happen with my with my womb cleansing. Okay. So as I mentioned, um, anyone who comes in for any service has to, I always, you don't have to, but I try to give you an option to cleanse. Right. And that's removing any negative energy, any um, stress, any emotions that you, <coughs> excuse me, that you came in with. <clears throat> so the first thing that we do is you would receive something like this, which is considered a spiritual bath. Right. So there's herbs and different oils in the water. Okay. And... You cleanse. You put your hands in and just go over your head and down your body. Mm -hmm. And as you're doing this, you're just repeating anything that you want to release. You know, I remove all negative energy, negative vibrations, you know, and you just go down your body in one direction. Right. Then you change uh -huh. into your um, gown. Mm -hmm. you, you remove everything, you know, and then you put a gown on um, to cover every, your, your body. Right. And then to be you, modest. Yes. And because of COVID, we used to use just regular sheets, but because of COVID, I have disposable um, chucks that right. we put on the bed. You lay on the massage bed, and then I smudge you with sage to remove any negative energy, negative vibrations. So this um, is the preparation. Yes, this is the preparation. Right. And as spirit guides me, um, sometimes you may receive maybe a few minutes of Reiki, which is energy healing over the sacral chakra area. Right. After that's done, then you sit on the stool, which is right here. Uh huh. And there's a pot under it with herbs in it. Mm -hmm. You sit on the stool. I cover you with this sauna cape. So mm -hmm. you sweat out toxins and impurities from the neck down, not just the vaginal womb area. And you steam. And you steam. Yes. How long would a steam last? So. It depends on which one you book. We have a 30 minute steam and we have the hour steam. Oh, you know me, I, I want hour. So the hour one is the one that's spiritually guided. I move my stool and I sit here and then we just talk about what, like I said, what you want to release, what you want to manifest from your womb area. Mm -hmm. The private steam is 30 minutes. And for this one, you sit privately by yourself. I pull the curtain and I come out. Okay. There's a bell there. So if you feel as though your steam is a little warm or if you feel like you want it hotter, you ring the bell. I usually sit right outside the door so that I can hear you and I come in and assist you. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I, um, I'm I ready. Okay. All right, guys, you can't go any further. Um, you guys may not be able to see it. She has a nice little water fountain going. I see she has a salt lamp. It smells yeah. amazing. Yeah. She has beautiful Yoruba colors in here. I'm big on colors. Colors mm -hmm. manifest amazing things. Yes right um i'm just it's weird i came up here in pain mm -hmm. i told you that mm -hmm. we drove here in i'm in pain right now and her energy is amazing the pain have subsided a lot and i haven't even started with my um cleansing awesome. so um i'm about to go get prepared and ready stay tuned for the rest guys
Okay, blessings guys, I am back. I am extra relaxed. Ah, feeling of euphoria, if you want to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so extra. See the hair is out, that's how relaxed I am. Not only is my hair out, my feet is out. I never have my feet out. Like seriously, it's out like that. I'm walking around barefoot, <laughs> barefoot. All right. It was an excellent experience. It was a cleansing. I cried. I was telling her usually when clients sit in my chair, they're the mm -hmm. ones crying because mm -hmm. it happens. Right. You know, I'm touching their ori. Yes, and yes. now the tables turn. I'm crying some pent up emotions I had from since I was 24 that I didn't feel until now in my 40s. It was amazing. I will tell you this Thank before. You. Um, first of all, everyone knows her as. Tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow Williams. Right. Or Tammy. Or Tammy. I yeah. call her Falana because that's her that's Yoruba, spiritual, her yeah. put Yoruba name yes. from our temple, right? Yes. We all have different names. But Tammy, this is who you'll be coming to. But what I like with her, she kind of reminds me of myself because she gives you that personal. You guys, if you met me in person, you know, it's not a salon setting mm -hmm. where, you know, different energies passing a bunch of salon chairs, mm -hmm. right? And just to reiterate what we said earlier, now, if you want the girl, you know, the, slum, the slumber party or the bachelorette party and the sipping of the mimosa, there are a lot of people doing yoni steams and you could, that's what you're looking for. Yes, yes. You want that spiritual cleansing to birth some of these emotions, not just fibroids or cysts, right, right. cancers. Yes. You want to release these things because yes. you may have, so there are people like me now, I have a physical fibroid, I have a physical cyst, people who have physical cancers, but there are people who have these things emotional, mm -hmm. emotional fibroids, emotional cysts. And like she said, the woman's womb holds on to everything. It does. It does. Right? Yes. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was you may see us without our mask right now. We did that on purpose just to let everyone know she is obeying all the COVID laws. In mm -hmm. fact, when you come, she tests your temperature. Yeah. Um, on her establishment, she has the six feet apart stickers. You cannot miss it. It's bright. You can't miss <laughs> yes. it. Yes. Right. See her little mask right there. When yes. we met, she came with the elbow. I was like, girl, hug me. <laughs> We're from the same temple. Stop playing, right? Yes. It's because we know each other. Right. Right. But right. she, you fill out a form to make sure you were not exposed to COVID. So yes. please don't let us not wear a mask deter you from coming. Right. right? Definitely. While I was sitting here, I saw many people come in. You can't even come in a mall without it. You definitely cannot. And if you're in the store and you pull your mask down, I just feel like you asked you to pull your mask down. Pull it back. There we go. You know, because people, it's still, you know, people are still uncomfortable with and the that's mask. Fine. And, and that's fine. And they pull fine. them down. But I explained to them that this, you is, know, for you must, this is for your protection. This is for your protection. And I'm around a lot of people. You are around a lot of right. people. You know, so I said you have to wear a mask. You have to, right. You have to wear a mask. Right. Because I know somebody will put that, like, how come they don't have one mask? Right. We choose that. This was our decision, mm -hmm. right? In fact, she saw me just to make sure that no one else is contaminated. She booked me the last, not even a booking. This is done. And the, the mall is closed, the mall's closed, closed. closed. <laughs> it's been closed for, for three hours, three hours, hours right? So there's nobody in the mall, okay? Right, right. Book an appointment with her. Yeah. Come and get that spiritual cleanse you need. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell anyone watching this? I want to say, you know, as women, we, we hold on to a lot. You know, we, we take care of everybody else. It's time for us as women to take care of ourselves. It's time for us to heal body, mind, and spirit so that we can birth not just children from our womb, but birth those businesses, birth, you know, the, the, the partner that you're looking for, you know, your, your soulmate, not just somebody that you just want to pass time with, you yep. know, and release a lot of that negative energy, negative vibrations, a lot of the things that are holding you back, a lot of the things that have you stuck, you know, because a lot of times it's that stagnant energy that's not moving. You have to release it so that you can heal. Yes. You know, you're yes. worthy of it. You you're know, worthy you of it. You have to believe right. you're worthy of it. And forgive, that's yes. what you taught me. You have to forgive, forgive yourself, yourself for things. We are holding on to a lot of yeah. grudges, not grudges for other people, but things we did in our past, right? right? And it could be something very small or very big. Right. And we're holding on because we feel guilty. You right. have to right. let it go. And you may not even realize you're holding on to it because it could be right. in your subconscious. Because in your conscious mind, you're, you're saying, I'm fine, everything is good. You but know, you're but not. subconsciously, you're manifesting things that you don't even know that you're manifesting pain and anger and resentment right. and you know you're just pushing it in the back but it stays back Abuse. there and it manifests in the different parts of your body like your right. breast right your womb right your heart you your know? heart so yep. it's time to just let, let it go. go she's the one to come let and see 
You're not just coming and going and squat over something with steam. She's sitting down. She's talking. She, if you're doing the hour session, she stays in the room with you, mm -hmm. right? She's giving you breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. She's she's manifesting over your life. Mm -hmm. She is really a vagina version of me with you. That's the best way to put it. That's mm -hmm. true. I'm and really not trying the, to be uncouth. Yeah. Yes. And if it is the hour session um, yeah. and I'm in there with you, I will have on a face shield. I will have on a mask. You can pull your nose, you know, have your, your um, because it's hard to breathe when you're actually sitting in steam. And there's a lot of heat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'll let you pull it down to where you, you like your nose is exposed. I, but you can I have a shield on and I'm talking. So right. it's, I try to my best to do my best to protect you. And I am six feet away from Wait, you. Right. Yeah, you will, yeah. You will go distance. So and we have to where you have some circulation, like everything is not completely closed. Right. You still have some circulation in the room to where, you yeah. know. Right. Yeah. And she also has an infrared sauna blanket mm -hmm. where she put castor oil. I, that felt good. I sweat twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just book her. Come, show your support. Give this as a gift to someone. Notice this bag behind me. I am leaving with a bag of goodies, okay? Teas, crystals. I just was going around picking stuff out, okay? Because she, she educates you and send you on your way. And, and loose leaf tea is very important, right? Mm -hmm. So she hooked me up with that. All right, um, tune in for more. I'm going to post all her information. Call her, ask for Tammy. And book your appointment. All right. Remember, yes. support black owned businesses. Yes. All right. Yes. And even if you're not coming for you, only seem like, as I said, it is a. <laughs> she has so much stuff here. You got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Thank you. But good stuff. Everything. Not... <laughs> yes. Clothes, yes. all your African clothes and African wraps and African jewelry. Yes. Even I bought jewelry. She has it here. All right. Yes. Come and show your support. I love you guys. Thanks for your, Thank you. for your uh, thanks for your support. I'm really see how relaxed I'm tongue tied. <laughs> Look, my mic. I'm holding my mic in my hand. <laughs> we have like a two hour ride. I go in the car and sleep. And I'm most relaxed. Awesome. Have a good night, guys. You be Thank blessed. You, Ashe. Ashe.